guys, do you think changing candidates in the middle of a race no, when people have already voted? It, this is not like changing your underwear. In the middle of a race. People have already voted. There's already yes, delegates but, but, that have been apportioned. But there's an off ramp here, and I think one of the off ramps that we need to think about is once all of the delegates are are received. The, Dem the DNC will be certifying the delegates, right, um, and the count. And Gavin Newsom can be swapped out if Joe Biden decides to step Or another step aside. candidate. Or it another can candidate. be done. I, I think, think it's Gavin important Newsom the public can knows. Win. I know, but I, I don't think, think Kamala can. Harris would be so happy about that, and the black community might turn I don't think they're going to turn like if she that. remains the vice president of the United States. Kamala Harris is never going to betray Joe Biden in that way. No surprise here. What did I just say? And this isn't no prediction. I'm not going to pat myself on the back. None of this stuff. This is all by design. They telegraph exactly what they are going to do. I am not surprised by this whatsoever. And mind you, before we dig into this whole situation that they've, that they're telling you now about Newsom, Michelle Obama's name is out there, all this stuff. Look at what they're tagging them on. Watch. Initially, the president of Mexico, Sisi, did not want to open up the gate to allow humanitarian material to get in. I talked to him. I convinced him to open the gate. Okay, so he mixed up the names of a couple of people. How big of a problem is this going forward in this election for Biden? I, I think it's significant, actually. And, you do? And, and, you know, to mix up the president of Egypt with the president of Mexico, because his name sounds like Sisi, I, I, that, that's bizarre. And, and What are the two they, names? They, they said, Obrador. The Sisi they're, and Obrador. They're it's not different. super close. Yeah, they're pretty different. And the other thing is... What the report said was um, he could not remember when he was the vice president. He gave out, you know, certain dates that were not in line when he was the vice president. Now, when have you ever seen any of these talk shows the media's ever come after of anything that he messes up? Let Trump say that Mexico borders Gaza and they would impeach him. They would try him for treason if he were to say that. And here you go, here's that flip now. Before when they used to ignore all this stuff, these little talk shows like this, up into the bigger media, when he's talking about that he was raised by Puerto Ricans, a giant kitchen fire, when it was small, all this BS that he started and he was doing the civil rights movement, all this BS that they let slide, now they want to get him on this because this special counsel report came out. And now you, this is how they want to play it. The smaller shows like this are going to start bringing up these rumblings, talking about all this stuff, and then the main media is going to seem like they're defending him. They're all in cahoots. They're all in it together. Nobody needed this report to come out and say, oh, he's just a feeble old guy he can't remember anything he had to put the report out like that to justify not prosecuting him everything the willful retention of documents is the same things they're charging trump for and trump is, is the president the executive branch he is allowed just like if they said obama had documents or clinton or bush that's fine but when you go to vice president and then you go even to a senator in his case that's a felony he he broke the law, but in order for them to try to make it seem fair, they have to diminish him. And who's all in charge of this? The DOJ, Merrick Garland, he was able to read through all of these entire papers and all this deposition. He was able to see all of this and still released it. They are doing this all by design. This is all part of what they want. And they want the Republicans to try to come up there and say, yeah, we need to institute the 25th Amendment. No, let them go through what exactly they are doing because Trump already told you the 25th amendment is of no danger to him is a danger to Joe but now you're seeing that narrative flip where they're all just crashing down on them the, the stuff that they would normally ignore uh, him confusing borders and all that they never covered this stuff before watch any press conference he's over here talking about dead people even before the France uh, president that died in 96 other people People that were on the opposite side of the country that he said he took a picture with just a couple minutes ago and they weren't even in the same state. They ignored all of that, all this BS that he's been talking about, flying airplanes, driving semi-trucks, all of this stuff. They weren't paying attention to any of that stuff. But now the orders are in. It's gonna small, it's gonna start small, like on these little talk shows like The View, and it's gonna go more and more until they completely push them out the back door. Not a joke. 
the approval ratings, two wars going on, all these crazy prices. Look at mortgages, rents, gas is about to go right back up all over again. He has no chance. And they want you to believe. And how, how are they going to sell it this time? Oh, he had levels, approval ratings worse than Jimmy Carter. But now all the, the miraculous Joe Biden, just like in 2020, the bellwether, they've been predicting the winner of the election for the last 60 years. But all of a sudden, Joe the Immortal Joe comes and defies that. A Georgia hasn't been blue in over 50 years, but the Immortal Joe. Arizona hasn't been blue since 96, but the Immortal Joe. Somebody who de did no campaigning, nothing, none of that. The Immortal Joe just, just forget all of these precedents in this historic facts, things that are the people. Nobody has ever lost an election ever by winning Iowa, Ohio, and Florida, but the immortal Joe just to bump all those precedents. It, it's me. I'm here. The most vote-getting candidate of all time. So now what are they going to sell that now? We know his approval ratings are terrible, but you guys forgot he's the immortal Joe. That's what they want to sell to you. But long story short, just like I said in the previous video, what they're going to do, it's going to be something where he's going to step down and probably pardon Hunter on his way out. A slip and fall, or I need to focus on my family, Hunter relapse, whatever the case may be, because this is how it's all set up. Then they're going to inject Newsom in, because he's campaigning for Joe right now. I talked about this before. They're going to inject him in, and what's the excuse for Kamala? She is going to come out with a statement. Me and Joe started together. We're going to finish together. If he's not in this race. I'm not in this race because they can't sell her. Were well, they going to take Newsom and just leapfrog her? The people aren't going to stand for that. How come she doesn't get a shot? She's doing worse than Joe. They know how all this stuff works. So now she's going to say that I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to take a leave. You know, I was meant to be here with Joe. If he's not here, I'm done. But they still, you know, we love the black people. They don't. They're all racist, right? We love them all. That's why they got Joe sitting down having fried chicken with families. What's that all about? But oh, but wait, that's a topic for a whole nother day. But that's what they want to sell to you. But now we're going to inject Michelle Obama. See, we have the black representation. We got rid of Kamala, but here's Michelle. Isn't that just as good? That's what they want to do. And you're seeing the media, all this stuff. The DOJ gave the blessing for this report to go out. This is all by design. They knew exactly what was in the report and they covered it. They could have ignored it, but they've covered it. That tells you everything you need to know. And to put a cherry on this whole thing, like I'm talking about them injecting Newsom into the picture, people will say, well, look at California, San Francisco, Oakland, LA, look at how badly it's doing and all that. That's why they've been putting out these polls, this one right here in particular, over and over again to drive home that point. We could just end on this, I think, which puts it in some further perspective. We're always talking about polls showing voters aren't thrilled with the prospect of a Biden-Trump matchup. I think this gets to that. If you put Biden on the ballot against an unnamed Republican, now I know the, the generic candidates always do better, but you don't usually see a gap this pronounced. Look at this. Biden loses by 11. It becomes basically just a referendum on Biden, and he falls far behind the generic Republican. Mm -hmm. Flip it around. Donald Trump against an unnamed Democrat. Again, we just showed you Trump two points up on um, Biden, put an unnamed Democrat in there and Trump starts to fall far behind too. Just like the view covering this stuff and trying to come out now about Newsom and all that, that's why they were releasing these polls every single month. A generic candidate beats Trump, see? So it's an unnamed person. It doesn't, it could be any Democrat we put up there. They're gonna be, that's what they're gonna try to sell you. Don't worry about how his state's gone completely to hell. Just a generic candidate. Trump stands no chance. It's six points in this poll, but it's 15 in this other one. That, but look, also, we're saying it's for the Republican side. That's because they wanted Nikki Haley because they knew they would just smash her easily. That's what. So it's like a double-edged sword. The way that they're doing this, they're trying to uplift Nikki Haley. That's not working. She's about to get mangled in South Carolina, which everybody knows, including her. But then at the same time, we're going to bring down Trump and elevate this unknown. 
if that was the case or anything like that, how come they didn't run that guy Dean Phillips? If anybody, if it was just a layup, a generic candidate, why didn't they give him a chance? Or Kennedy, why didn't they give any of them a chance? They're showing you, they show you all of this stuff. They telegraph it so your mind is, so your mind is just warmed up to the fact so when you see it, you're not shocked. That's what all this, but a lot of people ignore it and they don't look at it. It's very, very simple. They tell you exactly what they're gonna do. Hush up, boy. But hey, maybe I could be wrong. Maybe the sun's getting to me. I'm just not seeing or thinking clearly. But I'm pretty sure each and every one of you that might see this video will can agree with me on one point. Joe is not going to be there. He is not going to be there in November. There is no way with the campaigning, the flying, he's going to have to freestyle at a lot of these rallies you're talking about. Atlanta, Milwaukee, Detroit, Arizona, all these places in the Las Vegas. They, all these places you got to go to, Pennsylvania, Philly, all of these places, you think he's going to be hopping on jets and doing rallies left and right and all that. And if you guys watch his rallies or whatever, that's what you want to call him. His speeches are getting shorter and shorter. They have all these other guest speakers come on like they would have Obama, so to speak. Talk, talk, talk. And then he'll come on for like 20 minutes and then he's gone. So there is no way that he can freestyle and go out there they can't hide them on zoom like they did before so that shows you everything that you need to know but maybe i would be wrong but i'm pretty sure almost all of you would agree with me there's no way he's going to be there in november at the finish line thank you guys for tuning in thank you guys for watching do not forget to hit subscribe you got to be subscribed to this great chat so you know exactly where to find me so thank you guys for tuning i appreciate all the comments and all the love and i will catch you guys on the next one.